Stacey Dash decided to move to Los Angeles and become an actress to escape a life of dysfunction. But her big move to Tinseltown only caused more problems as she entered into back-to-back -back toxic relationships. Here's the truth about Stacey Dash's messy dating history. To get a better idea about Stacey Dash's turbulent relationships, let's go back to her childhood. She grew up in South Bronx, New York, to parents who had substance abuse issues. At the age of two, her parents left her at a woman's house, and although they would visit her occasionally, she ended up living there for the next few years. Stacy can still remember how the woman who lived there told her to stay far away from her teenage son's bedroom. In her memoir, the actress said she obeyed that rule for a few years, up until the age of four when the boy offered her some candy he had in his room. When she entered the bedroom, the unthinkable happened. To this day, she remains haunted by the incident. Her parents finally picked her up and took her back home for good sometime around the age of five. Upon returning to their home, she was greeted by a new addition to the family, her baby brother. As Stacy got older, her parents would still drop her off at places for weeks at a time. And after her mom wound up in the hospital after taking one too many substances, Stacy and her brother moved to their grandma's house in Long Island. Her parents eventually got divorced and her mom remarried a record executive. When she was in the seventh grade, they packed up and moved to California to be closer to her stepdad's job. But things between her mom and stepdad eventually fell apart. Soon enough, Stacy, her mom, and her little brother were back living on the East Coast. On her 16th birthday, her mom offered her some of her substances. After one sniff, Stacy was hooked. She met her first boyfriend and began skipping class. She still managed to graduate from high school. However, things took a turn when her first love dumped her and replaced her with a new girlfriend right away. In her memoir, Stacy wrote that she went on a downward spiral. She consumed a handful of drowsy medication and woke up in a hospital. Her mom threatened to take her to a mental hospital, but Stacy was able to convince her not to. After a blowout fight with her mom, she ran away from home and took a train to her godfather's house. While living there, Stacy said substances were even more readily available, causing her to sink even further into a dark hole. She eventually wore out her welcome there, got a job as a receptionist, and got her own place. She dabbled in acting by appearing in a hair commercial, and at the age of 19, she appeared on a popular television series. With the money rolling in, she was feeling confident and secure about herself. She met a married man and decided she would begin a relationship with him despite his wife being in the picture. They secretly lived together, but things got really bad when he stopped coming home at night. Stacy claims after questioning his whereabouts, he got physical with her, and the altercations continued almost daily. She still thought she was in love, and she wanted to make things work. She believed that if she could convince him to move to Los Angeles to pursue her acting career, that things would be better for them. Her married boyfriend agreed to move with her, and once they arrived in California, things got even worse. She eventually saved up enough money, and while he was out of town one day, she packed her things and moved out. She didn't stay single for long. According to Rolling Out magazine, she had a brief relationship with Damon Wayans in 1988. Things didn't work out, but they remained friends, and she later starred alongside him in the film Mo Money. In 1988, she reportedly began a relationship with a man named Kamat Mahez, but she quickly dropped him in 1989 when she met singer Christopher Williams. Things moved quickly for them, and she soon found out she was pregnant by him. The I'm Dreamin' singer, who already had a child from a previous relationship, was thrilled. But Stacy, who was living during a dark period of her life, didn't think having a baby was a good idea. She set up an appointment, but after hearing the heartbeat, she decided to keep the baby. She was constantly receiving phone calls from other women who claimed they were having relationships with Christopher, but he would always tell her there was nothing to worry about. He invited her to go on tour with him, but first he needed to travel to New York to appear on a late night television show. Stacy, who was eight months pregnant at the time, stayed behind at the hotel room and watched the program live on TV. When the host asked Christopher if he was in a relationship, he answered that he was single, and Stacy's mouth dropped. She soon realized he had been cheating on her the whole time and allegedly had another girlfriend on the side. She decided right then and there she would end their relationship and become a single mom. 
As if the end of her relationship wasn't bad enough, her dad also passed away of a heart attack right before she gave birth. After 18 hours of labor, she welcomed Austin Williams into the world. She moved out of the home she shared with Christopher and got her own apartment. That's when an unexpected visitor showed up. Stacy told People Magazine that her ex-boyfriend appeared at her front door. Many people believe the man she was referring to was her married ex she had gotten away from some years prior. With her son sleeping in his crib, Stacy told the magazine he put a weapon to her head and forcefully took advantage of her. Stacy said when he returned to her house a second time, she was prepared. She reached for her weapon and fired several shots, but she missed, and he was able to get away. While attending an AA meeting, she met a blonde surfer and aspiring actor who was still living at home with his mom. He had been sober for five years, and his sobriety encouraged Stacy to kick her substance abuse habit. Things moved quickly, and he proposed. In her memoir, Stacy wrote that she paid for her own engagement ring, and eventually she and her son moved in with him and his mom. She snagged a role in the 1995 movie Clueless. In 1996, a spin-off show of the movie debuted on TV, so Stacy had consistent work for a while. She was the breadwinner in her relationship, and her eyes soon wandered. While on the set of the TV show, she met Brian Lovell. He invited her out to see a movie, and Stacy wrote in her memoir that they didn't even make it through the opening credits. They booked a room at a Holiday Inn, and while there, he allegedly asked for Stacy and her son to move in with him. She ended her engagement to the surfer, and she and Brian got married in a Catholic church in July 1999. After welcoming their daughter, Lola Lovell, in 2003, they got divorced in 2005. She moved on and started to get more comfortable with her life in Los Angeles. She eventually met a group of tight-knit friends. During a night out, one of her friends introduced her to a man who had a layover in LA on his way to Hong Kong. The man is presumed to be British executive James Maybe. According to Stacy's autobiography, they hooked up the first night they met. After he left for Hong Kong, he flew her out to meet him. Three months later, he proposed during an act of intimacy with a four-carat engagement ring. They got married in 2005, and one year later, it was over. Stacy was still searching for love, and in 2007, she fell head over heels for actor and designer Emmanuel Shuarab. But just three years after their nuptials, Stacy filed for divorce and accused him of getting physical with her during their marriage. In 2010, a judge ordered Emmanuel to stay 100 yards away from Stacy and her two children. It was around the same time she allegedly began dating former Nappy Roots rapper Ryan Prophet. Ryan aired her out long after they had gone their separate ways. In a Christmas Instagram post, Ryan claimed soon after dating, she got pregnant. He accused her of moving on and dating another guy who convinced her to terminate the pregnancy so she could have his baby instead. Ryan was feeling sentimental and wrote, it would have been a blessing to watch my seed unwrap gifts yesterday for Christmas. He later deleted the caption and he never revealed the name of the mystery man in 2010, although she was still legally married, she showed up to the Academy Awards after parties with Jamie Foxx. Stacy, who previously bragged about sleeping with all of her ex-husbands on the first date, was asked by Wendy Williams if she hooked up with Jamie too. Stacy answered, no, I'm not doing that anymore. At this particular moment in time, this kitty is being held hostage. At the time of that interview, she was still waiting for Jamie to ask her out on a second date, which never happened. In 2011, her divorce from Emmanuel was finalized. That same year, she filmed a pilot episode for the VH1 series, Single Ladies. And according to her memoir, she met a wealthy man who lived overseas. And he just so happened to be married too. He flew her out to New York for the 4th of July and sent for her to visit him in France. While there, he broke it to her that he still lived with his wife. Stacy was convinced he would leave his wife eventually, so she decided to stay with him. When single ladies got picked up, she and her daughter moved to Atlanta. On Valentine's Day, her married boyfriend flew her out to San Francisco, and she noticed he was acting weird. She asked him if he had been unfaithful, and he denied any wrongdoing. On her flight back to Atlanta, she said she could feel that something wasn't right, and she was itching uncontrollably. 
She asked her assistant to book an appointment for her as soon as she landed in Atlanta. Her doctor diagnosed her with an STD, which was later treated with antibiotics. The next few years included Stacy being shunned by most people due to her insensitive remarks and personal affiliations. Her dating life took a back seat up until March 2018 when she met lawyer Jeffrey Marty. Ten days later, they got married in Florida. It was her fourth marriage. Their relationship seemed unconventional from the start. Page Six reported Stacy was based out of Los Angeles while Jeffrey remained in Florida. And a little over a year after tying the knot, their long-distance marriage imploded. On September 29, 2019, Stacy was locked up in Pasco County, Florida after officers allegedly noticed scratch marks on her husband's arm. She was released from custody, and as of this video, she's facing up to one year behind bars. Stacy's reps later told TMZ she was acting in self-defense after her husband got physical with her first. Let us know if you're shocked by Stacey Dash's dating history. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.